Hey yo, welcome back IB Development Economic students to this video lecture. Today I'm going over a very important concept, the Prebisch Senior Hypothesis, that of which goes over uh, the relationship between uh, countries exporting primary goods, which includes like raw, re raw resources, raw materials, and their development over time. So previously we have taught, pre we just briefly touched upon how uh, primary exporters of natural resources uh, will suffer in the long run because of undiversification, because of uh, fluctuations in prices. But here's another examination from another perspective using the terms of trade. So the previous Singer hypothesis basically states that in the long run, uh, raw material exporting countries will, in will experience a decrease in the terms of, of trade. Because of a few reasons. First of all, because of the, of the price elasticity of demand for these products and the income elasticity of demand for these products. Okay. So in the long run, there will be a decline in the terms of trade for natural resource uh, exporting countries. Now, let's, let's review what our terms of trade is. Now, we have learned the terms of trade calculation, and I have made a video on this in, uh, in the international economic section. However, the terms of trade is simply dividing the index of export prices. Just take a whole basket of all your export prices, divided by uh, the whole entire basket of your import prices, multiplied by 100. So this will show for each additional unit of import how many additional for each additional unit of export how many import additional units of export okay or you what would you be able to buy so the marginal the marginal uh, uh ability to import given a marginal ability to export so the previous singer hypothesis basically states in the long run we will have a decline in the terms of trade why is that that's because of two things let's think about this Two, two, two baskets of goods, manufactured goods and natural resource goods. As income rises for a, for a country, what do they demand more? Of course, they demand more manufactured goods, right? So the price of manufactured goods increase. However, uh, uh, these, the, what we call these natural resource goods are also demanded, but they are what we call necessity goods instead of uh, normal or luxury goods. So, so, so in the long run... Um, these natural resource uh, exporting countries will, will, will suffer because the prices for manufactured goods will increase while the prices for raw materials will decrease. Look, look, look at how the prices for raw materials have decreased as technology increases, as more exploiting practices increases. So in the long run, um, these uh, natural resource exporting countries will suffer because, uh, directly because... Um, the prices for natural resources decrease. And in order for them to uh, satisfy their consumers, their domestic consumers, they have to import foreign uh, manufactured goods. Now, as they import foreign manufactured goods, they're, pray, they're, they're, uh, they're paying higher prices as time goes on. So what, what, what should countries do? That, that, that would just lead to the terms of trade deteriorating in the long run, right? Because, because obviously they're paying more for manufactured goods as they are decreasing in their ability to export goods at a certain price. So in order to keep up the standards of living they may have, they have to export more and more and more natural resources. Now, that, of course, that, you, don't, you don't need me to tell you that that's not sustainable in the long run. So this is the previous Singer hypothesis, which basically states, because of the differentiating factors of the price elasticity of demand, right here, we have a highly inelastic and highly elastic uh, curve. This perhaps will be a natural resources. And this perhaps may be the uh, manufactured goods. So perhaps this will be oil and perhaps this will be cars. And in the long run, the prices for cars will increase. Why? Because the demand for cars will increase. Now, and the, the prices for natural resources will decrease. Now, this is just according to the previous Singer hypothesis. Now, it is just a hypothesis. A lot of people uh, do believe this hypothesis. However, it's important for you to understand that this is just one interpretation of why uh, natural resource exporting countries will remain poor even in the long run. Okay. So I do hope this video is helpful in, in going over the previous Singer hypothesis uh, and talking about the relationship or, or potential relationship between the wealth effect, the, uh, uh, the elasticity of demand, and the development of a country. I hope to see you guys in the next video. We'll be starting to talk about foreign direct investment.